that an option that we're putting in there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> water bottles and Water up. option, you bet. Actually, you know what's good is it's gas alcohol. The alcohol goes in the pilot. <laughs> we, won't, we won't get into that, Harold. You want me, you want me to get hot, Dave? I want you to get hot, Scott. Right. Okay, I'm ready. Scott, uh, we've been down here for a while. This looks like a Minimax, but doesn't look like a Minimax. Yeah, that's very, that's very, uh, very astute observation. <laughs> the outside, all of our airplanes, as you well know, look very similar from the outside. But on the inside, it's a completely different airplane. You, know, you see, we've enclosed, we've lowered and enclosed the Rotax 503. Previously, we've only offered uh, the Rotax 447 as the largest engine in our airplanes. Um, because they weren't designed to accommodate the landing loads, torque loads, and weight of the heavier engine. So we redesigned the airplane completely um, from spinner back uh, to accommodate the larger, uh, uh, the larger engine with the heavier weight and the more, and the more loads. Okay. It would be a little more comfortable if I walk over to the other side and you open the door up. Could you? Right. Okay, just a second. I'll get around there. There. You. Now, now you got a little bit of air in there, eh? <laughs> So what are some of the, uh, like is the airplane itself uh, structurally stronger and, and uh, the wood different? What's it, what's it made? Uh, yeah, well we've resized the spars, uh, we've resized, excuse me, something in every component of the airplane. It does use the same tail wheel and that's about the only thing that's common to the rest of the airplanes. Uh, we upped the, uh, excuse me, the G ratings for this. This one, this airplane's rated at 5.5 .5 positive and 3 negative. Typically our airplanes are 4 or 4.4 .4 positive and 2 negative. Now that's as a constant load with a one and a half uh, safety par safety margin. Okay. Now the, the actual air cream kit though coming out of the factory, is it a uh, higher or more complicated uh, time building? or uh, that A little bit more. Uh, you've got uh, additional doublers uh, in the spars. The spars are uh, slightly different uh, construction than our typical spars. Uh, you've got uh, reinforcements in some other areas. Uh, uh, aside from that, it comes from the same materials uh, that our other Minimax uh, uh, aircraft are made with. Now, the uh, performance differences then, I mean, when I flew the Minimax, it was a little 27 horsepower engine, I mean, it really got up and, and uh, did its job and, and the crust wind capability was phenomenal, Sure. but you've almost doubled the horsepower going to the 503. What kind of performances That's are right. you getting out of it? Well, not uh, not quite twice the performance because you got to add weight to accommodate that extra power. But this airplane climbs at a good 1,200 feet per minute. The roll weight is well under uh, 3 seconds, 45 to 45. It's down about 2. Uh, we took some of the dihedral out of this airplane as well. Um, cruise is about 85. We've upped the V and E on this airplane. The uh, maximum speed is 110 on this uh, on this plane, which is 10 miles an hour above our other airplanes, except the air bike, of course. And the uh, stall speed on it? Uh, it's about uh, 32, 33 miles an hour. What kind of money would the average person have? If by the time they finish this thing up the way that you would normally have a customer finish it? Pretty well pretty well equipped, uh, just under 10000 about $9,000 or so. Uh, any type of options that uh, the normal customer is buying? Uh, yeah, of course the split uh, landing gear on the bottom uh, is an option, which is one kind of distinctive point about the airways. Okay. You know, we've heard a lot of people complain they don't like that straight axle across. Um, and uh, uh, that is uh, the most elegant way to do it from an engineering and a weight standpoint and, and the strongest. Uh, but people, uh, we felt, have had a little opposition to the straight axle. So we designed this, uh, the metal gear, uh, which splits uh, in the middle and gets rid of that. So that's real nice. Most people are getting that with the airplane. In fact, they're putting that on a lot of the Minimaxes as well because it retrofits most of the Minimaxes. Um, the cowl is standard. That's all new uh, for the Aeros, the, the, the sleeky cheeked racing cowl. Um, and that, that comes with the dinner. Okay. What about the uh, canopy there? Is it? Uh... Uh, yeah, this does a couple of things. Of course, you're probably used to seeing the fully enclosed Minimax. Um, and this has that full enclosure as well. You just pull a hinge pin and in, in a minute or two put on the full enclosure and, and it's the same pullover canopy. So you have summer flying and winter flying. Now, um, a lot of people uh, may want to go to parachutes and that type of thing. Do you design a, a parachute mounting system into yeah, the, the airplane? Yeah. Well, where does it mount in this one? Uh, there are two or three places to put it, depending on the personal preference. One is right back here in the cargo area. You want to keep that as cargo area, however, we've got a belly mount chute where it mounts directly underneath uh, uh, my fanny here on the bottom side. <laughs> Actually, just above the landing gear legs. And then it deploys out, of course, and you come down in an upright fashion. Now, team's been in business for a number of years now. Uh, this is our 10th year. Yeah. Uh, how long has this particular model been out? 
Uh, this is the flying debut here. We showed it statically at Sun and Fun uh, 95. Um, and uh, it's very similar to our VMAX, which has been out for two or three years. Structurally, it's, it's almost identical to that airplane. Now, how many uh, Minimaxes are actually out there and flying? I mean, I was down at Lakeland a couple of years ago, and I swore there had to be 40 acres of Minimaxes you down there. Bet. Uh, we know there are over a thousand of them in over 33 countries around the planet. We don't have an exact count, but that's, the, that's as close as we can get. Now, at one time they were available as plans as well, and you're still uh, allowing, uh, selling Certainly. plans? We still offer plans for the whole uh, Minimax line as well as the Euros. Okay. So is you there, can scratch build or kit build. Is there anything else the team does uh, besides build airplanes? Uh, well, of course, we build airplane kits. We are involved in two other real interesting projects aside from uh, the Minimax line, though. One is the air bike. The, uh, the, I don't like to refer to it as an ultralight or an airplane because it's more of a toy. It's more like a snowmobile or a horse or a kayak or a ski -doo. Um, and then uh, we're also working on a Cumulus, which is an ultralight motor glider, <coughs> and that should be out uh, in 96. So if we want to get some more information on Team and its fine line aircraft, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, call, write, or fax. You can call us at 61 area code 615-765-5397, fax us at 615-765-7234, or write us a letter, which we will respond to, at uh, Team Aircraft at 10790 Ivy Bluff Road in Bradyville, Tennessee. The zip code is 37026. Thank you very much, Scott. Thank you, Dave.